The downside of the uh, Lutathera or PRRT treatment obviously is some of the side effects that we see, for example, bone marrow suppression. Uh, there is this risk of uh, myeloid dysplasia or even leukemia, which is probably 1% or less or could be more because we don't have enough. But, but so far it has not been a, a, a problem or a major problem at all. It can damage the kidneys, but then we counteract that by infusing amino acid infusion, a combination of amino acids could be 20 or it could be two. Recently we've been using only two amino acids. Uh, the downside of the amino acid infusion has been the nausea and vomiting. So the Lutathera itself, the PRRT, did not cause nausea vomiting, but the amino acid infusion we give to protect the kidneys can cause nausea vomiting, which is again controllable with the uh, standard of care in terms of the anti-nausea uh, strategies. The, for, so for the first time we have a treatment that is really uh, systemic but also more effective in terms of putting a break on the growth of the tumor. In addition, we're seeing patients who also are experiencing reduction uh, in, in, the si in the size of the tumor. Now, I is this the end of it? I think it's the beginning because now we're trying to learn a number of things. One of them is select the patients better for this treatment. We're also trying to learn how to best sequence those uh, the, the treatments the patient gets. Are we going to start with PRRT or Lutathera at the outset of the diagnosis? At this point in time, we're not doing that, but it could be that some patients we may be able to do that, or it's more appropriate to do that. The other uh, line of research is currently being done is combining uh, Lutathera or PRRT with the other drugs. Uh, for example, there's even the thought of combining uh, with immunotherapy uh, because sometimes radiation treatment can uh, can enhance the efficacy of the checkpoint inhibitor. So that's, uh, that type of research also is currently being done.